Hello all, welcome to my project cave. This is my latest technical hobby endeavor. It's a servo motor system. It's currently operating in position control mode. I should start by explaining that my employer often finds it more cost effective to throw out unused equipment than to store it and keep track of it. Uh, that means a lot of cool stuff ends up in the recycling bins at work and a great deal of which ends up here in my cave. So this is a great example. This is um, well, this is a Mitsubishi MR-J2S servo amplifier powering a little 200 watt motor with an integrated 131,072 pulse per revolution encoder. It's at the top here. Uh, that's 2 to the 17th, by the way. These two terminal blocks are uh, convenient places for to tie in the I.O., including over-travel switches, an emergency stop, signals like that that I'm emulating with these. It also ties in the input signals I'll get into in a minute. Anyway, um, so this is being powered by 240 uh, VAC that I'm getting from my clothes dryer circuit, my wife's clothes dryer circuit. And she kind of is touchy about that. Anyway, I've got a, a good disconnect. I'll turn it on here. And little 2 amp fuses protecting everything. Um, so the servo amplifier is being fed a roughly 10 kilohertz pulse train by this PIX16F microcontroller. It's actually driving a couple of little transistors down here um, because it's a 24 volt circuit that this thing is seeing. Um, so at the moment the program is very simple. Um, when I turn it on it's simply, oh here we go, this is going to be really exciting. Ready? Oh my gosh, there goes smiley face. So this program is really simple. It goes one revolution forward and then the reverse trip is made in eight segments. Uh, for each pulse received by the amplifier from the microcontroller, the motor is rotated one encoder pulse. Again, there are two to the 17th pulses for each revolution, so there's a lot of pulsing going on, so it's going backwards there one-eighth of a turn at a time. So it's not going to lose any position. It's going to end up exactly where it left off. Again, there you go, position control. So imagine for a moment that you had to feed widgets a new machine one at a time from stacks of eight. <laughs> In that case, you might start off with a control algorithm like this one. You know, then you could adjust the speed of the movements by defining the relationship between the encoder pulses and shaft rotations to either pulley diameter times pi for conveyor speed or to ball screw pitch. So, I guess that's about it. Um, there's not much else to say. Um, if I make this thing significantly more involved or entertaining, uh, like maybe I'd kind of like to build a dangerous art machine of some sort. I'll post another video. Until then, rock on.